this video guide, we will focus on measuring impact using digital storytelling. Recording people's stories of lived experience using digital tools can help to collect important data. It was very nice uh, to see. Uh, this can be used to see how well a service, an organization or a project is performing and measuring the impact of it. Stories can help people to express themselves, voice their concerns, inspire others, connect with different groups and discover and unite multiple voices. Nowadays, the digital tools needed to make a digital story are a camera, a phone or a tablet to record either video or audio and a computer to store and possibly edit the video or audio record. These days, digital tools are very easy to use and many people have access to them and know how to use a camera and a video on their phone or tablet. However, sometimes people are reluctant to be filmed, but there are several other ways to record their story without filming them. To overcome their reluctancy, people could uh, write their story down, draw their story, use photos to convey their thoughts and feelings, write it down so that someone else can read it, record only with audio. Once your subject is ready to be filmed, it's important to gain his consent. It's a legal requirement, but more importantly, there is a human element of trust here. Ensure your subject that stories are stored away safely and that they will only be shown in a public platform if the storyteller has consented explicitly to this action. It is also important that the storyteller knows that they can withdraw their consent at any time as well. When organizations work with people and their stories of lived experience, it's important to follow practices that will encourage participants and beneficiaries to be safe. Now, let's see five types of video storytelling that you could use to measure the impact generated by your organization. First, blogs. Blogs are regular updates, often done using one person talking directly to the camera. Great for people wanting to show progress for a project or action as it develops. Say something about the uh, yesterday meeting, the simulation meeting. Second, box pops. Vox Pops are like talking heads, except that the people used in the video are investing in it, but rather are random people found on the street to get a street perspective on a current issue. Third, documentary. Documentary videos allow you to shoot what is happening in the world. This can include the footage of things happening in real time, as well as interviews with people before, during or after the fact. Fourth, Personal stories. Personal stories can help give a human face to quantitative data. They are dynamic and provocative in a way that numbers and reports can only hope to be. People's personal stories help to capture and communicate in a more qualitative way that words and numbers alone cannot. Fifth, reflective interviews. A reflective interview is a very simple method in which a participant records themselves reflecting on something. The participant recounts what they enjoyed, didn't enjoy, what was successful, what could be improved. It can be recorded as a monologue by the participant or it could be recorded by someone else. An important alternative to the videos consists in registering podcasts. It's the best option to tell a story without showing the narrator and understand more about the story itself. This video guide has looked at some of the methods and techniques of how to use digital tools to record and collect stories to measure impact. Always remember that the storyteller is at the heart of the process and that they have control of the destiny of their story.